All right, boys and girls, it is, this is for Monday's math lesson. Now, we are just about wrapped up in our math book, but we're going to take an extra, a little extra time to talk about time. Now, we talked about time of before of what's more or less. Now, sorry, friends, I know you want to see my face, but the thing is, if I flip it, you, it's backwards. So I want to make sure you're able to understand it the correct way, because time's already tricky enough. So like I said from the start, time is either talking about more or less time. Now, another sense of time is well, there's a tool we can use. And this tool is called a, you know what this is right here that I have? It's called a clock. I borrowed my friend Annabelle's, she's three, her Paw Patrol clock. So you'll notice on this clock, that there are numbers. We start at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You'll notice it only goes up to 12. We don't go beyond, but in our clocks that we use here at school. Now you'll also notice, let me move these. There are two, these are called hands of the clock. You'll notice, let me put it closer. That one is longer and one is shorter. The longer hand, let's well, actually, sorry, let's start with the shorter hand. The shorter hand tells what hour it is and the longer hand says what minute it is. So let me flip this and see if you can tell what time I just made it. So let's look at the hour. What hour is it pointing to? Three. And then the minute hand is pointing to the twelfth. So some might think this 3, 12, but that's not right. It's actually 3 o'clock because these have another meaning behind them. They help with the minute and the hour. You'll notice right here how there's little or there's other numbers that go around it that helps us describe it more. So this is 3 o'clock. What do you think this one would be? 4 o'clock. What's that time? Six o'clock. You got it. What's that one? Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Very good. And what about when it's stacked together like that? And you can't see the hour hand behind it. It's either, it's 12 o'clock. It's either lunchtime, so it's noon or it's sleepy time, it's midnight. So that's another thing we can look at, a.m. and p.m. So the big things I want you to remember, boys and girls, is that on a clock, there are two hands. The hour is short, the minute is longer. And that helps us tell what time it is. So I know when I saw would see three o'clock, that was the time I'd have to come pick you up to from gym or music. I know when I see it on this time at four o'clock. That's the time that Miss Heimer would say, Miss Hayden, you can go home from school. I know when I would see this time. Six o'clock when I would wake up in the morning, I knew it was time for me to wake up. So clocks help us tell time. So in kindergarten, we're really going to look to the hour. Now you might be thinking, okay, I can say it, but how do I write it? So I'm going to bring this paper back. Oops. I'm going to flip it over. I'm sorry, friends, if this is so jumpy. You'll notice I have two dots. I want to write six o'clock. So I'm going to make myself a six. And I add dot, dot, and an o'clock. Two zeros. That means o'clock means the minute hand is on that 12. So let's write another one. What time did I just make that? What's the hour hand on? 10, very good. And then what's the minute hand on? The 12, so that means it's o'clock. So two dots, o'clock. Let's try one more together, all right? Hmm, let's try this one. Sorry friends, it's really hard to do and hold, so I'm trying my best. What time would it be? 
What's that minute hand, or what's the hour hand on the short one? The red one. It's on a one. Put the two dots, and I make o'clock. Very good. All right, you're going to get a chance now. In your packet that I gave you, there's a piece of paper, and it's one-sided and has some hot dogs on it. And I want you to do that hot dog timesheet. You're going to be cutting out those pieces, and you're going to be matching them to the clock. So remind me again, which one of these would match this clock? Would 6, 10, or 1? 1 o'clock would. So I would cut it out and put it right below it. And that's what you will do. You will cut it out and put the number right below it. All right, friends, good job today. Thanks for reviewing time. Remember the minute and the hour hand, and we will be doing more review tomorrow.